Hi guys, this is Michael from the Piano Technician Academy, and today we're going to talk about what the pedals do on a piano. I am underneath a grand piano right now, so we're going to start with that. Um, as some of you know, uh, the pedals on an upright piano and the pedals on a grand piano can do different things. Um, on a grand piano and an upright piano, the sustain, sustain pedal is always on your right hand side though. So this pedal, when you press this down, lifts all of the dampers on the piano. And as you can imagine, when you press this down and you press a note, all of the strings are going to be ringing, you can play chords, all of the dampers are up. When I release the pedal, the dampers drop and terminate the sound coming from the strings. Now this is where it changes. On a grand piano, this is called uh, a sustenuto pedal. Um, upright pianos, um, we'll cover that in a second, but this usually does something else. But when you press this down, what this does is it's going to lift the note or lift the damper of one note at a time. So to use this pedal, you press the note first, then press the pedal, and as you can see, that's lifting just the damper for that one note. And this allows the player to play staccato in the rest of the keyboard. Just like with a um, sustain pedal, when I release this pedal, it drops the uh, damper for that one note and terminates the sound coming from the string. Over here, on the uh, left, you have what's called an una corda pedal or a soft pedal. And what this pedal does is when I press this pedal, the entire action scoots over to the right. And why it does that is on a, um, as you know, uh, when you press a uh, key on a piano, a lot of times that hammer is hitting three strings or two strings or one string. On a three string note, when you press that pedal, the hammer is scooted over just a tiny little bit and now it's only hitting two strings. On a two string note, when it goes over, it's just hitting one string. And as you can imagine, this softens the sound of the piano, it makes it a little bit quieter. Um, on some pianos though, when you press that um, pedal over, all that's happening is the hammer is still hitting all three strings, but um, in a different spot on the hammer. And that different spot on the hammer is voiced a little bit different. Um, but that's basically the um, pedal system in a grand piano. So let's go look at an upright piano. All right, so now we're going to be looking at an upright piano. So again, on a, any piano, whether it's an upright or a grand or a baby grand or whatever, the right pedal is always going to be your sustain pedal. So when I press this pedal down, all of the dampers lift off of the strings. And this will allow the player to play a note or a chord like this and have it continually sustained. When I release this pedal, it's going to terminate the sound coming from those strings instantly. Now moving on to the middle pedal. The middle pedal in an upright piano oftentimes is what we call a practice pedal. You'll notice that some upright pianos only have two pedals, but in this particular piano, this has a practice pedal. This is a little bit newer. I'm thinking uprights maybe made in the last like 40 to 50 years started imp implementing this practice pedal. And what this is, so when I press this pedal down, a piece of felt goes right in between my strike distance between my hammer and my string. And when I pr play a note, it makes it a lot softer. Now listen to the same pressure on the same note with this pedal off. Now with it on. So this is how uh, we get the piano, an upright piano, to be a little bit quieter. Um, and as you can see, when I push this pedal down and over to the left, it locks and it keeps that felt down in between the hammer and the string. This allows you to play the other pedals instead of um, having to hold this one down the whole time. I'm going to release this one, get this back in normal position. Now onto the left pedal. This is a, on an upright piano. Another way to make the piano a little bit softer is you press this left pedal and it just pushes the hammer line a little bit closer to the string so your strike distance is shorter. And when you do that, it's going to make the note a little bit softer. It's not going to be as impactful as the middle pedal was, but it is going to be a little bit quieter. Um, on the pianos that we were talking about that only have two pedals, oftentimes you'll have your sustain pedal and this pedal right here that basically just pushes the whole um, hammer assembly closer to the strings to make it a little bit quieter. So when I press this pedal down, the hammers are a little bit closer to the string. Now, I will play the same note with the piano or with the pedal not depressed. And now with the pressed. So it's not as a big of a difference as it was when we did the soft pedal or the practice pedal in the middle, but it definitely makes it a little bit quieter. 
So that's the basics of what the piano pedals do on both a grand and an upright piano. As always, guys, if you have any piano-related questions, feel free to shoot us an email at michael at pianotechnicianacademy.com, or you can give us a call. Uh, check us out online at www.pianotechnicianacademy.com. Thanks for watching, guys.